welcome back to my next video for more videos click on that subscribe button and for the latest updates from me click on that bell icon and never forget to subscribe my channel as well as to share the videos with your social media friends and if you like this channel then recommend to others Hi Dubious, my name is Manohar and you are seeing VHDL language. So in this I am going to tell you about the basic difference between Unlock VLSI, Unlock Developer, okay, or a Digital VLSI Developer, okay. So there are two types of developers, Unlock VLSI Developer and Digital VLSI Developers. I have choose this topic because mostly searched in the Google, so that's the reason I have choose this topic. So without wasting time, let us start. So basically, if you see about this, we have a different types of engineers like Unlock, Mixed Signal, RF Design Engineers and many more are there so, and basically their skills are different their knowledge knowledges are different their deliverables are different kinds of things everything's are different different kinds of things they have so if you see an unlock vlsi unlock vlsi developer or a digital vlsi developer so let us come to unlock vlsi developer you can able to see the deals with the continuous signals okay so whenever they do a project unlock vlsi developers they deals with the continuous signals kind of things and also it deals with the circuit to generate the signal detect the signals measure and amplify the signal to alternate the signal all are in continuous waveforms okay the sound waves temperature and everything which deals with an continuous wave signal those are nothing but your analog vlsi developers these are they are known as analog vlsi developers we will discuss about tools also you watch this video till end so you will be getting a complete knowledge so which domain you have selected your domain for a mini project or major project and now you are in confused what to select your project right so this video will be helpful for you so basically if you are selected vlsi then in VLSI also there are many types right so what project to be selected so depending upon this video you can able to select your project so it will be very useful for you let us come to a digital VLSI if you talk about this digital VLSI then they, they de majorly deals with zeros and ones okay so basically they deals with zeros and ones and basically they design the mathematical circuits actually so they design an adder kind of thing or subtractor mathematical analysis they do convolution kind of thing that is also a mathematical process only so these kind of things that majorly deals with boolean algebraic equation okay so basically you got an objective right so analog deals with a continuous waveform vlsi developers and digital that deals with your zeros and ones basically these are the two things so basically let us go to other side there are apart from this analog digital developer and analog vlsi developer and as well as digital vlsi developer we have another kind of developer also that is nothing but mixed signal developers or rf circuit design developers they are the two types of developers you can opt for them also basically mixed signal de developers they what they do they combine this analog part and a digital part into a single circuit and they develop a board so that is something that goes here and in rf circuit design they, de they usually they deals with the free radio frequency signals to catch that radio frequency signals they design different types of antennas so antennas are designed in rf circuit designing part of okay so majorly industry required rf circuit also designers mixed circuit designers if mixed, mixed circuit designers are present then no need of like separate part of this analog or digital right and basically they most of the people are not like mixed signal developers so that's the reason people hire for analog also and digital also okay so hiring part let us keep it aside and let us focus on our main topic like why what is the different types difference between your analog vlsi developer and a digital vlsi developer so if you know if you see the knowledge between those two candidates if you see the knowledge for analog vlsi developer as well as a digital vlsi developer then i can tell you that analog vlsi developer knows about semiconductors semiconductor technology like what is pn junction day or this uh, what is a cutoff voltage those kind of things okay they should know all this kind of thing semiconductors in physics whatever they have learned in the btech first year so those things they will be knowing about those things and electrical circuit how to make switching kind of thing all the electrical circuit theory and also the control and the feedback kind of thing because basically amplifier requires a feedback circuit right so today to make that feedback circuit some electrical circuits are also required um if you got to know an amplifier then we know that v out equals to rf by r in into v in right so those kind of things so those equations and all these analog developers know analog vlsi developers they know so they know this have this much knowledge to basing upon this knowledge they can develop their project basically in digital vlsi developer they need to know about the boolean equations algebraic equation what is signal processing how to do signal processing kind of thing what is asynchronous signal circuits and synchronous circuits and how to develop them depending upon those things they need 
they will be writing the code coding part okay so this is the basic knowledge difference between this analog knowledge between the analog and digital vlsi developers and next if you see the skills required to be make a analog vlsi developer or a digital vlsi developer let us see what is the skill required for an analog so if analog vlsi developer you want to become then you need to know about eda tools means nothing but your spice we have a software called spice in that we have different spice t spice set spice and spectral those are the different there basically we do circuit simulation we design the circuit and then we simulate it schematics we design layout we do it the mostly preferable software is vertiso okay and galaxy okay vertiso is an software by cadence so cadence is a company which developed this vertiso software and mostly people use those tool and if you go for design digital vlsi developers then you can see you need to write your behavioral level of coding or i have told my in my videos everything are digital vlsi developers only i have not discussed about analog vlsi any part of my video if you go through my channel then you will always find a digital vlsi because i am i am a part like dh digital vlsi only so that's the reason i have not preferred about this analog yes you will find the micro wind kind of videos there you will be doing some layout kind of things and the circuit simulation of things also but most of, most of the videos are my digital videos so you will be going through a verilog or hdl programming hardware descriptive language programming kind of thing where you will be seeing the rtl schematics kind of thing okay compiler you need to know runtime analysis you are going to do so space required a size everything it matters right areas by size and power consumption you go you are going to know and these are the two different softwares you require here what is so you require and here your xilinx or vivado you require okay so i have not mentioned but vivado or xilinx you require in the digital vlsi developing so deliver de deliverables what we analog deliverables they give and digital they give the output okay they what they give an output kind of thing after doing everything project after doing the project what they do actually what they give so basically analog designers if you see they design an amplifiers or oscillators kind of thing or continuous timing filters filters they design or mixers they design a to d converters or d to a converters they design and they give an output in their project kind of thing okay or if you see in digital so they design logic gates multipliers counters flip flops or microcontrollers or fr filters they design this kind of projects and they give it software okay so in software they design it and they give it and here also you can use software uh, like i have told you what is so there you can simulate it and you can show your output kind of thing so basically analog they do this kind of things and digital they do this kind of things so hope you have liked my video and understood what is the difference between them if you like this video please like it and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my video so thank you for watching have a nice day